have arrived at one of the highlights of our ancient Persia in depth tour. We are at Persepolis, one of the great cities of the ancient world. This scale model prepares us for what we are about to see. Construction began in 515 BC under the rule of Darius the Great and his successors continued developing the city over the next 200 years. In fact, it was still unfinished when Alexander the Great arrived in 330 BC. Wooden steps cover the grand staircase which leads us up to the Gate of the Nations. And it's come from the Assyrian culture. In the Assyrian culture, you know that. This great gateway was constructed by Darius's successor, Xerxes I, around about 475 BC. Here, trumpets would have sounded as visitors walked through the enormous wooden doors. Arriving visitors are greeted by two giant sculptures of quadrupeds, while on the reverse side, two huge human-headed winged bulls of Assyrian style face into the palace area. Coming into the palace area, we can observe several walls full of bas relief. These give us an insight into life during the reign of Darius and his successors. I mean a bull, so there is actually the most common idea about it that the new year is coming and the old year is going to disappear mm -hmm. because they want to, uh, through the, I mean, considering the constant the reason that you can see the lion devouring uh, actually, uh, and they, they put actually the spear bottom on the shoes. Why? Because it's made of the silver or gold and they don't want to put on the ground and make a scratch of it. So this tree road is shows the immortal soldier. And maybe exactly it shows the mirror of the ceremony that is held here. So it means the soldier, maybe they are here at the ball side, and the dignity is coming from the reality. So this is the groom of the horses and chariot of the king. And there is some uh, I mean, different chariot because nowadays you know that the person have uh, some cars, different cars. And this is the reason maybe the king wants to use his own horse or chariot. This is the reason. And uh, this guy actually can uh, stand over there because he can there uh, are in that time there is nothing sadder. Maybe they use the kind of the fabrics and then uh, Very close and the good friendship with them and the relationship with the Median people. However, they always thrown the Median and they got the power, but they are hand in hand okay, all the time. And you can see a group of the Median people that uh, they actually the head of them is guided by the, I mean, a Persian guy. Uh, there is a scepter over there, so it's actually kind of the badge that shows that is, I mean, is a high position and guided them to that the carpet design has this, I mean, design. And from this design, they understand it is a Persian carpet, the oldest one that now is the St. Petersburg, actually, museum. So this is the oldest design for the carpet. In any case, they bring the picture again. And here from the Libya, and the last one from the Ethiopia. with the male and female socket, but sometimes they use the lead I mean, between them to fix it completely. And we have a 48... Persepolis isn't just towering columns, it's also artifacts at ground level. We are looking out across the remains of the Apadana Palace. This was constructed by Xerxes I and must have been a very grand place. In the distance is the imposing silhouette of Chichara. This was constructed during the reign of Darius I. It is believed to be the Winter Palace of Darius and would date from around 486 BC. Part of the palace, 
This panel shows figures of servants or priests carrying food, vessels and lambs. This was Darius's great treasury. Besides the foundations of walls, there are also the footings of 250 columns. Ancient evidence suggests that it was well stocked with treasure. We are looking out over the remains of the palace of a hundred columns. Its construction began during the reign of Xerxes I, who may be the monarch portrayed in this relief. In the hillside above Persepolis, there are four royal tombs carved out of the solid rock. This impressive relief panel was once the centre of the Apadana staircase, but it was shifted during a later building period. In 330 BC, Alexander the Great and his armies not only conquered the city, but they also looted it and then they burnt it to the ground. Persepolis had been built as a showcase for the empire. It was to awe visitors with its size and its beauty. What we see today is just a mere shadow of the city's former glory. Over the centuries, the ruins became lost as they were covered by dust and sand and it wasn't until the 1930s that they were revealed in the glory that we see today. <laughs>